the odd frosty night. You get used to it. <gasps> but you all used to live in Africa. Don't you miss the sunshine? Sometimes, but sunshine can get boring too. Yes, it's quite nice here at the zoo. We get all different types of weather. Oh, you speak for yourself, Boris. We hate the cold weather. Yeah, we hate it. Let's have a story with lots of sunshine. Boris? Do you know any hot weather stories? Hmm. There is one I remember. It takes place in Australia, which is quite a hot spot, so they tell me. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, let's hear it. <sighs> in the middle of the Australian outback, there was a great red rock. Some animals thought it might be a magic rock because it was such a strange shape and colour. In the shadow of the great red rock, there were two gum trees where a wombat lived. He was a very old wombat and the other animals called him Wally Two Trees. Old Wally had some very strange habits. He was always collecting strange things. Do you mind? Sometimes Wally would dance. Strange dances. come again. Did you ever see such a stupid dance? Look at the way he wiggles his bottom. <laughs> Who's this? Any guesses? <laughs> Wally! Uh, I'm a silly old wombat. What a silly old wombat I am. You'd better be careful. He might hear. <laughs> It was a hot summer. The days were long and Joy and his friends played from dawn until dusk. Kids shouldn't be playing here. You're wasting water. We're wasting water. We're wasting water. <laughs> the summer was hot and dry. The sun baked the earth until it was hard as stone. 
Now there wasn't a drop of water to be found anywhere. Not even in the billabong. The animals began to get thirsty. We gotta find some water. Let's split up. Yeah! Let's see who can find the most water. Bet it's me. Bet it's not. Phoebe knew that sometimes you could find water in the trunks of trees. Uh-oh. Useless tree. Ribbit. Jimmy was out looking for water beneath rocks. Oh, do you mind? I was having a little snooze. Turn the lights out, would you? Sorry. Stupid snake. Joy and his mum had travelled for miles to a pool far from the red rock. There at last they found some water. But how will we get it home, Mum? Easy. I'll put it in my pouch. <gasps> Great idea. Let's go, Joe. Oh, no. Wally Two Trees was right. We shouldn't have wasted that water. <gasps> hey, didn't Wally used to do a rain dance? He's not here. Look, paw prints. And they're heading for... The, the Great, Great Red Rock. Rock. This place is really creepy. Shh! What's that? <gasps> oh! Look. It's all right, Phoebe. It's Mr. Two Trees. You like the paintings? Uh, very good. Did you do them yourself? <laughs> No, they were done many thousands of years ago. It's the ancient wombat rain dance. That's what we want you to do! Wally agreed to help Joey and his friends, but first he decided to teach them a little lesson. I need your help on this one. OK, what do we do? Joey, I want you to begin by jumping up and down on one leg. No problem. Wally had tricked Joey into performing a sun dance, not a rain dance. Jimmy, I want you to cross your arms and kick out your legs. Can you do that? No worries, Wally. <laughs> What's that white stuff? <laughs> no. Wally had taught Jimmy a Russian snow dance. Right, Phoebe. Now it's your turn. Uh, I'm not a very good dancer. No, you'll be fine. All you have to do is spin round and round as quickly as you can. Wally had played his last trick. Phoebe was performing a wind dance. <laughs> help! Help! Get us down! We're sorry we laughed at you! Yeah, we'll never waste water again! Um -dum -dum, down they come! Um -dum -dum, down they come! Now you've learned your lesson, it's time for one last dance. I know. What is it this time? Don't worry. This is the real thing. The ancient wombat rain dance. <laughs> rain plane, come again all around. It's getting dark. <laughs> It's raining! Hooray! 
Wally's dance had worked, and at long last, rain began to fall on the Great Plain. Beautiful, fresh, sweet-tasting rain. That was a good story, except for one thing. Yeah, it ended up raining. You promised us a story full of sunshine. Sorry, I'd forgotten it ended up with a rainstorm. Never mind, it was a lovely story. I know the best place to be if you're still feeling cold. Bed. Good night, Lucy.